this tutorial is on process costing. I introduced process costing in the previous tutorial. Uh, we looked at the basic idea, but I mentioned uh, that there are three problems. And the first problem uh, area that uh, you could be tested on is losses. So let me explain uh, what we are talking about and how we go about handling it uh, using examples. Uh, first of all, let's look at uh, example one. During February, the following costs were incurred in a process. We have got uh, materials, labor, and overheads. And for materials, we are putting in a thousand kg, and then we did some work on it, but it says a normal loss of 10% was expected. So we always expect uh, we are going to have um, some losses. We are going to lose some goods. And uh, maybe, for instance, uh, if we are making beer, and uh, we, I, I, well, I don't know uh, exactly how beer is made, uh, but uh, assuming we are putting in a liquid or a thousand liters of a liquid, uh, some some liquid are going to be lost uh, through steam to maybe evaporate as steam, and uh, so you may put in a thousand liters, uh, but you always expect some. Uh, of it to disappear, to just disappear, and uh, you get uh, less output. And that is what is happening here. Uh, some units, some cages are disappearing, and um, we expect to lose 10% uh, in this example. And so what do we do? Uh, what are we going to do? And uh, so let, let's see how we deal with this. Uh, let's do our costing first uh, of all as a literal statement and uh, then we will do a T account uh, after. So what we have, uh, we have materials, I've been given materials, now we need to specify the uh, quantity, it's 1000 kgs and the cost is 12,000, then we have labor, 7,000, then we have overhead, eight thousand. So the total cost is in the calculator, we have 27,000, and the units, uh, it's 1,000 kgs. Okay, so uh, initially, what we would have done here to get the cost per kg would have divided the 27,000 by 1,000, but we have a normal loss of 100. So we need to take out uh, some units that were lost. So normal loss of 10%. So 10% of 1,000 is actually 100. So we are taking out the hundred and will remain with nine hundred and these have no cost so the cost will still be twenty seven thousand and then we can use uh, these nine hundred kgs to find the cost per unit so this is what we are having as our output a nine hundred so the cost per unit of the output cost per unit of a kg is equal to 27,000 over 900 kgs. This will give us $30 uh, per kg. Okay, so that's how you, you, you go about it when there's a normal loss. Now, uh, let's then do a T account and we know that uh, we debit, we're going to debit the costs, the input, and then you credit what is coming out. So we, we know that we have materials and don't forget to stress the, the units. So we have 1,000 new kgs and the dollar value is 12,000. 
then we have labor also at a cost of 7,000 and overheads at a cost of 8,000. So the total, the bit, is uh, 27,000 and the units is 1,000. Okay, so now uh, the output. Uh, we, first of all, we know uh, before anything, we know that we are losing, uh, there is a normal loss of 100 kgs. So we put normal loss of 100 kgs. Then we don't know the cost, there is no cost. And then uh, the output, the final uh, output of 900 at the cost of 27. Uh, so this 900 units, we the, the, we know that each unit from the previous workings is costing $30 per kg. So 30 times 900 is 27,000. Uh, okay, then this will balance. Now 900 plus 100 is 100, and we have the cost of 27,000 for the output. Okay. Now, if you turn over, it will show you normal loss with a scrap value. Now, the word normal loss doesn't uh, only mean that things are being lost. There are times, it also means goods that are your units that are damages or they are not properly done and they cannot be sold at the full price. They could mean a loss. Now, some goods that are damaged, they can be sold at a price. So they can be sold. So, uh, and that price at which they can be sold is what is known as a scrap value. So, what is happening here? is that the units are not uh, only are not just disappearing but they are being sold the losses the, the the damages are being sold they are not disappearing they are being sold so we are more like recovering some uh, costs that have been incurred we are not making a total loss but we are recovering something so let's uh, see how this is done yeah, in, when it comes to costing so let's do our costing uh, first. We have materials. Uh, 3,000 kgs. At a cost of 30,000. The labor, 12,000. Overhead. 10,800, then total 52, 8, then the total units, uh, 3,000. Again, there is a normal loss of 10%. Now, this normal loss has got a value. I say it has got a scrap value. Instead of just the throwing away the goods, they can be sold at $5 each. So the normal loss, uh, we are going to reduce, it's going to reduce. So normal loss is going to reduce uh, the units. It's at 10%. So 10% of 3,000 is, it is 300. Okay. So now these are at a value of $5 each. So we are going to have a negative cost. We are recovering some cost. So we have a negative cost of 1,500. Okay, then the net cost, 52.8 minus 1.5 will be 51,300. And the units will remain with 2,700. So unlike uh, having a, a normal loss, uh, which is just being wasted, here we are recovering some costs. We are uh, selling at a cheaper price though. So we are, the cost is being uh, reduced. Then we can calculate the cost per unit, uh, per kg, the output unit, which would be 
51,300 over 2,700. And this gives us $19. Okay. So now let me show you the T account to show how uh, that appears. And uh, as always, you debit the costs. You debit the T accounts with the costs. So we, the cost we have uh, materials, then take note of the units to the kg. We are putting in 3,000 kgs. Then the cost is 30,000. Okay, then we have labor costs at 12,000. Then we have overhead at 10,800. And the total cost is 52, eight. And the total units is 3,000. Now, uh, we are taking out, so we, we, debit, we credit what we are taking out. Now we are taking out the normal loss. We have a normal loss of 300 kgs. These are valued at $5 each. So the, the, the cost, the cost of, of the normal loss will be 1,500. Then the output, we remain with 2,700 units. These are valued at the full cost the cost that we calculated, which is $19 per unit. And it gives us 51,300. So when you get the total, you have 52,8, which balances, and the units, 300 plus 27, which is 3,000 in the units uh, balances. Well, I hope that's good with uh, normal losses, but uh, I'm going to stop this uh, tutorial here and uh, I'll introduce the other problems in the uh, coming uh, tutorials. But there's uh, also another problem with uh, losses because uh, when we talked of uh, normal losses or expected losses, and uh, it may happen that uh, every month or every end of the period uh, it could be a miracle to see that um, what we expect is actually what has happened and uh, so in reality what is expected or the, what we are calling the normal loss may be different from the actual loss so we we will have something like uh, abnormal loss or abnormal gain so we may have uh, is a, a loss which is less than what we expected. So that is uh, a gain, meaning we're having a gain. And when we have a loss which is greater than what we expected, we have abnormal loss. So this is just to give you uh, a hint of what is coming in the next uh, tutorial that I'm going to, to do. And uh, so that is what we will look at before we look at the other problem areas. Uh, the other two problem areas that are remaining. We will have to look at um, the, the problem with uh, the losses uh, themselves. And uh, I'll end here, I'll, I'll stop here, and uh, I hope you have enjoyed. Uh, don't forget to drop your comments. If you have any question, uh, please do so, and I'll be very glad to help. Uh, goodbye for now.